Welcome back guys to a brand new Ark Survival Ascended news update. Today we're going to be talking about the completely free new feature that is coming to the game on the 31st of January, so only 11 days time. And it seems pretty cool to be honest, there's actually a lot on the horizon. I'm glad that um, Wildcard is starting to uh, give us some big information into January because at the start it was so, so quiet. So hopefully now they're going to start giving more and more and more as we build closer to february with the new maps and march with the new maps and stuff um but it's nice to see something brand new that they're releasing to all players now if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you do want to get yourself a server whether that's arc survival ascended or even they've just released for us content creators the power world servers that we can now sell to you guys um if you do want to get one um there i'm gonna try over the next couple of days to get a um i've been trying for ages to try and get a discount code because i know that really does help when you're renewing your servers and everything um so hopefully hopefully i can do that anyway moving on from that um we have the new patch notes as well uh, for the pc bear in mind i know a lot of console players have said on my other videos that saying dom can you please let us know when it's a pc update and a, con and a console update uh, or a console update and i'll make sure to do that as well because uh, um i know obviously console players you're waiting for that giant update which unfortunately isn't coming um from what we know right now probably until january 31st as well so what we'll do is we'll read through these patch notes um after we talk about the free content the free feature that's coming and then we'll dive in to some other bits that we talked about earlier today um so the first thing is the cost uh, this is the brand new completely free custom cosmetics update um which they're introducing so they said we're introducing a, a an upgraded cosmetic system letting players forge their own visual masterpiece for structures i also want before after i talk uh, tell you guys about this I want to mention something on this update because it seems interesting. I feel like they're integrating some stuff from Arc 2 slowly into Arc Survival Ascended, and I'll explain that afterwards. So we're introducing an upgraded cosmetic system, letting players forge their own visual masterpieces for structures, costumes, and more. Um, best of all, they can be used on any server without the need for the servers to download a mod. It can all happen under the hood of your client, including on official servers. So decorate your bases and suit up how you'd like in a later update. These custom visuals will automatically download in the background while you explore. So get ready to discover fresh surprises on structures, items and characters every time you venture around the arc. So what I wanted to mention regarding Arc 2 is a lot of the content that was promised for Arc 2 is actually slowly creeping into Arc Survival Ascended, which I guess was a good idea anyway, because there were some really cool things. So the whole idea of Arc 2 is the fact that players were going to be able to have their own mods um, on console as well. Um, and then they in ended up in in implementing that into Arc Survival Ascended. But they also said they were going to start um, for Arc 2 uh, letting players create their own like cosmetics and structures and all things like that and i don't think it will be as in depth as it's meant to be for arc 2 if arc 2 is still coming uh, which is still the release date is planned for 2024 at the end somehow which i don't think it will be um but they're giving us now this like own way to forge our own masterpieces to make your own cosmetic structures and costumes to look different while you're in the game which sounds really cool i can't wait to get this feature into the game it may not drop for the uh january 31st update as it does mention in a later update so maybe that will come closer to in february time something like, like that before the center drops um but i thought it was a really cool thing i wanted to highlight and that should be exciting um as as the january 31st update the two biggest things is the transfers and the premium mods um so spice up with our brand new premium mod initiative launching on january 31st these high quality mods moderated by curse forge and wildcard um look to add up a whole new layer of simon to your arc experience now these will actually be they these this isn't like a free feature as i said they're the premium mods so you'll have to pay um but i mentioned in my video earlier that 70 percent of the revenue goes to the mod authors and 30 goes between whether that's curse forge or wildcard i'm not sure i'm not sure what it is but these these are meant to have like 
maps, DLCs, all that types of stuff mixed in with it. So hopefully this is going to um, brighten up the game a little bit. And I hope they actually do proper good trailers for these and boost it on Steam because uh, they don't do enough of that, I have to say. And then finally, the transfers. We had to iron out a few kinks in the server transfer system and move the date back to January 31st. Once enabled, players will be able to download items and creatures onto the map without this restriction. And obviously, they're going to be launching some non-transfer official PvP servers. Um, so yeah, pretty much there is a v this patch is going to be very big, and I think for console it's going to be bringing the giant um, console patch too. Um, which uh, finally it's been nearly t well tomorrow it would be uh, so Sunday will be the, the, a month since the last console patch, which is just crazy to think it's been that long. Um, so please prepare for that. Um, as for recent updates, more stuff to come to the console too, is they fixed the irrigation status not displaying correctly. They had some more performance upgrades. Mod installation prompt should now only display on a server when you attempt to join it. Fixed cannons being unable to fire when placed on platform saddles. Fixed Mega Me Megapithecus boss reward crate sometimes not spawning after defeating him. Fix the two so not wanting to eat during taming when the server is under stress and fix Basil oh, fix Basil such as babies uh, Sora sorry babies sometimes spawning under the mesh and fix being able to start the same boss fight in multiple locations which would result in both groups being destroyed and fix multiple client crashes. So the, well, there was actually one I didn't mention in an other video yet, which is the bosses can no longer be cured by and uh, lured by giant bee honey. I didn't even know that was a thing, um, but uh, yeah, apparently that is happening, and that has actually been sorted in the most recent PC update. So. Console players, I've done a full update video if you want to see it um, all the way from the most, well, the last one that you had. So it has a bunch of stuff in um, that you will need to know regarding the big console patch. Now, alongside this, apart from it, came the new Community Crunch, which is where we had that information. And Dolly went ahead and said a little a little quote from uh, the new creature coming. Um, he protect, he, he not attack, but most of all. Uh, most of all, he real flat. Um, so by the looks of things, this new Scorched Earth, hopefully not paid to win, which is what people have been saying, is going to be like, it won't be able to attack, but it's going to be like a safe haven. Um, and, like, and, and the thing I really want to learn more about this is the fact that it is part of the Frontier Adventurer pack. Um, it, I guess the, the idea of this is to add it into the game to make sure that... Um, like if if it was if it was able to attack that just wouldn't be a feasible thing because some people that can't afford to pay for it will, will, you know it just wouldn't it just ruins the game but I find it very strange so what do they say about it um where was it that they mentioned it was here so it says the oasis saw a giant gen gentle uh, giant of the earth stands as a living sanctuary offering protection and substance to all creatures in its vicinity with its unique ability to create a safe haven it shields players from environmental threats and hostile creatures. Though it offers little defense against other players, this majestic creature offers a beacon of trank. Okay, so basically, I, I wonder how this is going to take place. I, it, it sounds very PvE to me rather than PvP, and because it says that other players can attack it. So I guess it's more of one of those things where it can defend you against everything else in the world apart from other players attacking it. So um, it is kind of a paid to win in a way. But then it's uh, it's not too crazy because at the same time, it's not like it offers... It, I suppose it does because it offers you a platform. It's going to be a really interesting one to find out more later into the game, whether it's how it's going to uh, play, especially on official PvP. I think that's the one thing people want to work out more because it is something, if it becomes part of this Frontier Venture pack, as it states here, that it gives people that pay something that people that don't pay don't, which I know is a huge thing within the game. But... Yeah, anyway, um, I know a lot of people have been worried about microtransactions and stuff. I was reading the comments in my other video, um, and I don't think Wildcard will ever go down that route too crazy. I don't, please don't state me on that in the future, just in case it changes. They did mention so much in the past where they said they'd never go down that route uh, of like loot boxes and loot crates and everything like that, but they never mentioned this. I just, the thing with Wildcard is they can say one thing, and within the space of six months, everything can change. So you just have to be very careful what you listen to um until it's literally officially in the game um that's how crazy it is so yeah that's pretty much all of the main um po points of updates that we needed to talk about regarding the game to be honest um it's going to be an exciting time um obviously we've also wait is this development kit coming i think 
um it said oh yeah so also the simple game framework um update it's like the they said they're excited to announce a date for the upgraded art development kit with an eye-catching side scroller mod example on january 31st we'll be releasing an update to the development kit that provides more ways to bend your arc imagination with features that were previously locked away now at your fingertips um so you'll be able to literally create your own games um in unreal engine 5 which is amazing um I don't think I, I, you know, we really need the Super Mario Arc Bros, to be honest, as part of Arc. I did see someone, that the top comment on this, like, unlisted video was like, Wildcard, we need you to focus on the game. And, and no, they, it, it's good that they're doing this. And I'm, I'm sure they've got a whole totally different team working on these parts of things. So don't stress too much if you're worried um, that they're not focusing their right efforts and time onto things that need to get be fixed. Because they have a live ops team to sort all the exploits and all of that stuff out. They have a team working on survival of the fittest, even though it doesn't seem like it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so that is pretty much everything we need to talk about. I covered everything in my earlier video, but yeah, let's uh, look forward to the future. Let's hope it's going to be exciting because Power World is dominating the survival genre. And I don't think any, any survival game has done that ever since. For me, Ark was released um and uh if, if you know a game that's done that, that obviously there's been like conan exiles there's been valheim but there's been nothing that has literally started to compete with games like counter-strike and dota 2 for concurrent players it may not last for forever i completely understand that it'll be interesting to see how it then once power the hype of power world kind of like dies down like how it's gonna like keep up with the games like arc like because obviously arc's been surviving for what eight years plus and still going strong so the it's, it's going to be interesting to see how they are like with their fan base how they release things and once they really go into their like next stage of generate you know generation survival and loads of loads of challenges arise especially um with the amount of players that they've got playing at the moment so anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's news update if you did enjoy it make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh yeah thank you for watching